My next tip is to always use BEM class naming and on your structure panel, you always name those in the same naming that you'd use for your elements. So in the case here, I've got a card basic, which is spelt with capitals and a space. My BEM class block name is lowercase card dash basic. So it always needs to be lowercase and spaces replaced with dashes to match the naming conventions. We then have a wrapper underneath that, which is an element of that card. So it's the card basic with two underscores and wrapper, and that's BEM naming. So I've got a header, body, and footer doing the same thing. I've got some elements inside there, for example, the icon, heading, etc. And they're all card basic, underscore, underscore, the element. And those element names are the same as what you've got on here. Um, it just makes it really easy to match to or, or find your uh, classes to target with CSS. Um, there are some tools which make this even easier. So Automatic CSS has an automatic BIM class creator. Uh, Advanced Thema also has that. I'll put some links in the footer to BIM and Advanced Thema and ACSS if you're interested in those. But that's my tip to always, always, always name using BIM naming. It just makes sense.